Welcome to the Aqua Resilience Show. I am your host, Carrie, and with my co-host, Teresa. Um, to start off, we're going to give you an introduction on what the Acma Resilient Show is. So, we created this show as an opportunity to involve the community more with our program through activities, news, events, and other projects. So, welcome. This is our first show. So, in each of our series, we're going to be featuring an employee of the Pueblo of Acoma who we'd like to recognize for their special work and their hard efforts into their job. So, what better employee to recognize than um, my boss, Teresa? <laughs> so, Teresa, can you tell us a little bit of, about your position and what you do? Sure. Thank you very much, and I just want to say that a large part of this uh, show and, and everything that's gone into it has really been the brainchild of Carrie, who's our new health educator. And uh, I'm Dr. Teresa Meehan. I am the new um, director for the health and wellness program. I have been out on the Pueblo doing various things, uh, mostly with the Department of Education over the last 25 or so years. But I'm very happy to be here now in a full-time employment position. And the health and wellness program, um, it has so much potential, so much to offer. I know that there, it has a history of working with a lot of the community um, around this diabetes projects, uh, the special diabetes program, the kidney care program. And we know that those programs have been put on hold temporarily. Uh, due to the pandemic, but we were really hoping to get some of those things up and running again very quickly. We also have a lot of other ideas. Um, we're going to be working on getting the fitness center up and running. That's a little bit more of a challenge just because of the social distancing and uh, the need to wear a mask, which is not going to be fun while you're exercising. So we're trying to figure that piece out right now. But we have ideas and Mainly, we want to hear back from you, from the community. What kinds of things would you like to see happen? I think this pandemic has really um, put us in a position where we know uh, what we take for granted now and what we would like to see happen so that it just makes life a little bit easier during the pandemic. You know, maybe activities with the children, maybe um, exercise outdoor kinds of activities that can be done in a safe manner. Um, and while we're doing that, we're also going to be building and putting together some other programs so that we just have this really vibrant um, uh, program to offer to the community. All right. Thank you, Teresa. Thank you. Um, it was really great to hear about your job in full detail as a uh, most of us just hear, oh, she's, she's our director, she's our boss. So thank you for telling us your goals and ambitions and what to expect from the um, health and wellness department here. Thank you, Carrie. Mm -hmm. So the topic of the week is coronavirus and the ACMA community. And I can say that we're pushing through as a community and there have been a lot of changes, but we have to make these changes in order to overcome it. Don't you agree? I totally agree, yeah. And as we know, change can be hard, mm -hmm. yeah. So Carrie, what do, you, what do you see, like, how do you see the community? You've lived here your whole life, obviously. Mm -hmm. how, you know, how, was, how were things before? Like, how would you describe what the new normal might be? And where do you think we're gonna go in the future? At first, um, we heard about the coronavirus around New Year's, and it was just a scary virus off way over in China. And we thought, oh, well, the sniffer is going to come here. Like, nothing is ever going to come here. I mean, that's all the way in China. But, you know, as the weeks progressed, we saw that it finally came to the United States, and then it started inching its way closer to New Mexico and then to our, our community, and that was scary as well as the changes that had to occur. For instance, the closing of the Pueblo yeah. and um, restricting non-residents that they can't visit their families or they can't come home to ACMA, which was, which was a change and it stressed a lot of people out. Um, I know my family, I couldn't go see them and they couldn't come see me as a resident here. And 
That's been tough, not just for myself, but I can assume the entire community. And I'm glad that we're sticking to the rules and we're still continuing to be social distant, even though it seems as if we've hit this plateau of like the new normal, because there can always be a spike. Mm -hmm. It can always increase and it can always become a lot more dangerous here on the reservation than it is now. But this, but in our efforts, we have tried to contain the spread of coronavirus here on the reservation. Yes, yes. And where do you think we'll be down the road? It's really hard to say where we'll be down the road because honestly, no one knows. No one knows what's going to happen tomorrow. No one knows what's going to happen next month. So mm -hmm. it's all going to be a learning curve. We're just going to have to take it one day at a time mm -hmm. and see and evaluate what's working and what's not working. So there may be policies that are going to be put in place that might not work right. and it might change again. But that's all in how this is affecting us because we don't know. We, there is no frame of reference for back then there was a coronavirus we can reflect on. This is what we did, uh, A, B, and C. That's so true. We followed by the rules, <laughs> we're going to get through it. But no, this we, we don't have that because this is all new to us. It's new to our leaders. It's new to uh, the different programs that are still working at this time. And so we all have to figure out what a new normal is. Right. I think that's so important, you know, to know to know that we're really, we're drawing a new map. This mm -hmm. map hasn't been drawn before and there might be mistakes or just inadvertent things that we say, no, that wasn't quite what we wanted. We're going to try it a different way. Yeah. And I understand it's frustrating. Uh, for instance, if you're being told one thing and then tomorrow you're doing something different, mm -hmm. just please try and understand that we are still learning during this and what we think might not be the solution and then we'll probably come up with a, a better and easier solution or a new way of doing things. So yes, I ask you community, please bear with us, bear with our tribal leaders, bear with our government, that we're all doing our best to keep our people safe, the world safe. And it is frustrating, yes, <laughs> having one thing changed, but and then on to another, but we can get through this, guys. I, I, I know we can do it. We've, uh, we're, we're, we're tough people and we're strong and we're resilient, hence the name, The Resilient <laughs> Show. Very good. Very good. <laughs> and I know we can push through it. Today we're going to play a matching game to help use the Akama language. First, we had to lay them out like this. We had to flip two cards and name them. Dami. Nana, da. So, Nana and Nana, da. Nana and 
There are many plants and animals that are native to our Pueblo land. We hope to focus on at least one each week so our younger generations can learn more about their science, history, and traditional uses. This week we'll learn about Indian tea, a perennial plant with a short growing season lasting from June to September. Did you know plants come from a clan system too? Scientists call it a scientific classification system and it is used for all plants and animals. The broadest category is called the kingdom. For plants, the kingdom is plantae. For humans, the kingdom is animalia. Indian tea is used as a refreshing drink. 
but it also has medicinal value. It is a mild diuretic, which is beneficial for the kidneys. It is also known to purify the blood, settle an upset stomach, or act as a toothache re remedy. The bright yellow flowers make a great natural dye. What planet or animal do you want to learn more about? Call or send us a text at 505-800-4380. Or send us an email at the Acma Resilience Show at gmail.com. Teresa and I would like to thank you for uh, coming to the end. And uh, we're going to be doing our giveaway now. So please text the word virus. <laughs> that is virus, V I R U S, to the number on the screen. And after you do that, you will be entered in our contest to win a hydro flask. And as well as the children, please uh, enter in your drawing, send us a drawing. We're gonna have a box at the post office as well as provide an email in this slide. Yeah, we're looking so forward to the drawings and, and this is gonna be an ongoing thing. So it's not just a one-time win. We're gonna have weekly drawings. So uh, kids get ready. Make yes. us some cool pictures. <laughs> and your drawings will be featured on next week's show. So if you draw us something, the topic of the week is going to be the coronavirus and what it means to you, what you've seen. And um, the sky is the limit as long as it relates to the coronavirus or the, the current pandemic. And so, yes, please draw us on an 8 by 10, 8 by 11 piece of paper. You can either and write your name on the back and your age so we know. And then we'll feature you on the next show. So you can see your drawings come up on the next show. Um, be sure to check us out. We'll be having a new show every Friday, or try to. <laughs> Please bear in mind that we are in a pandemic and things are starting to pick up for our program. So we're trying our best. <laughs> <laughs> we will. And but, give us your feedback. Yes. For sure. Yes, please. We look forward to you uh, the next show. So have a good night or have a good day. Whatever time you're watching this, you know, have a blessed week. And we'll see you next time. I'm really excited for next week's show. Yeah, definitely. Thank you so much. And, and participate with us. And let's make this show a success. Yes, we definitely can. Yeah. High five for the win. Good We're going to do this. <laughs> <laughs> Please wear your mask.